Okay. Uh, we're going to keep drawing ISO lines here, something I'm going to call Drawing ISO Lines Part 2. The difference here is that now, this is more real world, and the numbers are kind of random, and they're not in a square grid. That uh, some people s find that to be more difficult. So let's do this. Uh, we're going to do the. We're going to try to do the 70 ISO line here, which is going to be 70 meters, uh, because I know that this is a map and this has meters down there. So 70 meters elevation is what we're doing. Um, now, it's often nice to pick us pick a place that has the exact value you're looking for. And I see 70 calling out to me right there. So uh, from here, where is the next 70? I'm going to look around and up here. Is 70 between 68 and 63? No, that's too low. 63 and 61 is too low. Is 70 between 68 and 70? Yes, it is. I'll, I'll go there. Okay, so now I'm here. And then is 70, is 70 between 78 and 74? No, it's too high. Is it between 74 and 73? No, those are too high. Is it between 73 and 78? Yes, 70 is. So now I'm going to go like that. Um, is 70 between 58 and 60? No. Is it between 58 and 73? Yes, it is. So then I go like this. Uh, 70 again. Is 70 between 60 and 74? Yes, it is. I'm now going here. Is 70 between 60 and 65? No, it's not. Is 70 between 65 and 75? Yes, it is. It's right there. So now I'm here. Now the numbers get a little tight. And then where is the next... So where's the next 70? It's not between these two. But this is 75 and 67, so now I'm like right there. Okay? I'm at the edge of the page, so I'm just going to estimate and bring it off to the end of the map, which is something you totally need to do. But I can't leave it hanging. I have to go back here and do this. So where is the next 70 in this case? 70. Is 70 between 61 and 57? No, those are too high. Is 70 between 68 and 57? No, that's too low. Sorry, these are too low. That's what I meant to say. Uh, is 70 between 75 and 68? Yes, it is. So I'm kind of going back down this way, going to here. And then I guess I'm going to do, where's the next 70? These are not here. Um, it's here, but how do I get there? Do I go this way or this way? And I see this is 78 and 69, so 70 is like here. I'm going there. Oftentimes, I have uh, people ask if they can cross the river. And they totally can. Just ISO line goes across rivers and roads and towns. and So don't worry about crossing through the bodies of water or anything because ISO lines will do that. So now we're here between there. And then I see 70s right here. I'm going to go right to there for 70. And then the next 70. Is it between, no, it's not between 69 and 60. And then 70 is now between 60 and 68. But it is between 68 and 73. Now it's got to squeeze it in there. Put a dot right there. I just can't touch either of them, but you can get real close. Your lines can get real close. That happens. Not, it's not a problem. Don't worry about it. And then I'm here, and then 70 is between 69 and 73. I'm right there. Uh, where's the next 70? Is between 75 and... No, that's too high. But it is between 69 and 72, so I'm going to kind of squeeze it in right there. And then I'm here. And Am I going to go between 60 and 63? No, I'm not. That's too high. Is it between 63 and... And 67, no, but I see, oh, I see 70 right there. And again, how I'm going to get there is between 72 and 69, and there's 70 right there. I go from there. It's always nice to get that. And then how do I go off the page? i got to be careful not to go here because 70 is between 69 and 71. And then I go off the page, okay? And that is a pretty good uh, rendition of drawing the 70 line where you go off the page. So I'm Mr. Gasta. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped.